In this video, I'll help you migrate a site fully from WordPress.com to WordPress.org. I understand that your site is super important for you and you're probably a non-techie. So don't worry, I'll show you an easy method that will safely move all of your content and leave you with a fully functional site. My name is Julian and I work at BlogWorld, which helps over a million sites with guaranteed backups. I share weekly videos to unlock your website mojo. So smash that subscribe button and let's begin. I'd like to first quickly cover the benefits of making this move. WordPress.org is way more customizable and flexible because you can install free plugins, use premium themes and customize the underlying code to get any aesthetic you want. Editing this code is actually really easy and we've covered this in a video above. You also get more control over SEO and no ads are forced upon your visitors. Now, to do this migration properly, we will go through four stages. Firstly, we will purchase a hosting plan so your site has server space to exist on. Secondly, we will safely move all of your content to your new site. Thirdly, we will do some maintenance work on the new .org site to make sure that it's fully functional. And lastly, we'll either add a new domain name or point your old domain name to this site so that your visitors can find it. So let's do this one by one. For purchasing a hosting plan, this video is not sponsored, but I'd recommend Cloudways because it's very user-friendly and safe. On the hosting dashboard, you need to install WordPress.org, which takes just a few clicks like I'm showing you here. Next, we'll migrate all the content of our site. The first step is to export content from your WordPress.com site. So on the left navigation menu, go to Tools and then Export. Then click Export All on the textual lines and download the zip package. After unzipping it, this folder will have an XML file, which we'll need in the next section. Also, download the media files from here as well. The next step is to import your content to your WordPress.org site. So log into your WordPress.org dashboard, then go to Tools and click Import. Now install the WordPress Importer tool by clicking Install here. Click on Run Importer to start the process and you'll be asked for an XML file to upload. Now click on Choose File and pick the XML file that we extracted in the previous step. Then click on Upload File and Import. On the next page, you can either keep the same authors as your .com site or attribute all posts to a user on your .org site like your primary admin account. You can also create a new author by clicking here. Once that's done, tick the box named Download and Import File Attachments and click on Submit to start importing. This may take a few minutes depending on the size of your XML file. Once the import is completed, you'll see a success image. Please remember, we only uploaded the textual files right now and the media files are left. So we'll use an FTP client like FileZilla to do that. First, please extract the content of the media archive. Then in your hosting dashboard, go here and find your FTP details. Use these in your FTP client to log into your WordPress.org site. On the left side, find the folder where you extracted the media files. Then on the right side, click on the public folder, then content and then uploads. Right click and upload the media files. Once that's done, your site content would have completely been copied to your .org site. However, there are three common errors that you may face, which I'll now help you with. If you didn't face them, then please skip to the next section for the next steps. This error generally shows up if you didn't upload the XML file properly. So please take care of that when you repeat the migration process. This error shows up if your hosting server wasn't able to handle your upload request. So you should contact your hosting provider and they're generally quite prompt to help out. Lastly, if you see a 500 internal server error, there can be many reasons for it. And I've made a separate video discussing those which I'll link above. All right, the entire content of our site has been migrated, but you need to do some maintenance work to make sure that it's fully functional. The first step is to fix the look of our site. Your site will look different because your previous theme will not carry over to your WordPress.org site. So go to appearance and then themes to select the same theme as before or a new one. Secondly, there will be a new post called Hello World that WordPress.org creates by default. So you can just go ahead and delete that. Then we need to fix any broken links from this migration. So go to plugins, then add new and install a free plugin called Better Search Replace. Activate it, then go to tools and Better Search Replace. In the search for field, put your local host URL. In the replace with field, put the URL of your live site. From the select tables list, select all the tables that have references to your .com site's URL and select WP posts. Next, click on run search replace at the bottom and make the changes final. Lastly, we need to fix your permalink structure so that your new site has the same structure as your .com site. Otherwise, some visitors can see error messages. 
So go to settings, then permalinks. Under common settings, select the permalink structure you're using on your .com site. Once you've updated the permalink structure, click save changes at the bottom. All right, now that your site is functioning properly, we are ready to make it visible to your visitors, for which we need to add the domain name to it. You can do this in two ways. Firstly, buy a new domain name and link this to your .org site. I'll add steps for it on the screen since it's easy and you can pause the screen to read it. I'd recommend sending your visitors an email about the name change and redirecting any visitors from the previous domain name to this new one. You can do this by going to settings, then general, and under the site address section, clicking redirect. Enter the details, pay the amount, and then head to upgrades and click domains. Then click on this icon and make it your primary domain. Secondly, if you want to keep the same domain name, then we basically have to connect it to your new site instead of the old one. So let's take the example that your new hosting is from Cloudways and you had bought your domain name from Bluehost. Now we need to add your domain name to the Cloudways platform, then point your domain to the Cloudways server. Let's do this one by one. Go to your Cloudways account and then click on servers. Then click www next to the server that hosts your site and choose the WordPress.org application. Under the application management menu, click on domain management. In the primary domain field, enter your domain name, then click on save changes. Next, log into your Bluehost account. Go to domains and then my domains. On the downtown menu next to manage, click on DNS. In the A subsection of DNS manager, click add record. For the host record field, enter at the rate. For the points to field, enter the public IP address of your cloud-based server. Leave the TTL at its default value. Click save to finish, adding the A record. Next, under the CNAME section, click on add record. For the host record field, enter www. For the points to field, enter your domain name without the www. Leave the TTL at its default value. Click save to finish adding the A record. That's it. Here's another video that I thought you'd really like. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek, and I will see you again next week.